Hi, I am Ahmed Daud and today we are going to start the first algorithm of machine learning which is linear regression or supervised machine learning algorithm. So before going to start the linear regression, I want to discuss here an example. Here a very small data set of five houses in which there is a price of of the house and the area of the house. You can consider area as an independent variable and price as a dependent variable. Now the house of 2600 square feet is of price 5.5 lakh. The house of 30 or 3000 square feet area has a price of 5.65. Now here I have plotted these five points on a scatter plot area on x-axis price on the y-axis and there are five points here. Now stop the video here and think for a while. If I will ask you by using these five data points, tell me what will be the price of a house having area 34 under square feet. How you can calculate that? Now there is a very simple technique. If I will show you here, It just draw a linear line here. Okay, so this is a linear line you have drawn by using these data points. Okay, if you can draw this linear line, then you can predict any price, or you can say predict the price for any area. Let's say if you are interested in the 3400 square feet area what will be the price of 3400 square feet area you simply go to the line and go on the x from the x axis go towards the y axis and you will get the price 6.6 .6 lakh almost okay now you have find out any point or any value on the x axis you can calculate the y value or price for that value okay now here this is simply called this red line you have drawn here is simply called a model okay now there are different shapes of model like in uh, when we are uh, we are today going to start a linear regression so linear regression will be have shape like that now there are different other type of models they have different shapes okay so for now you can consider that this is a linear model okay so this line we usually call a model okay now you go, can get an idea model is nothing but uh, some sort of mathematical equations okay now what you have done here during by using these five points by using these five data points you have drawn a line here a line okay so this process we usually call a training of the model training of model okay now you have predicted a price or you have find out the price for the 3400 area is 3400 square feet and price you have predicted 6.6 .6 by using this red line by using this red line or you can say by using this trained model so here you can say that this is here we are doing prediction okay we are predicting or estimating something we are here estimating or predicting something we are predicting that if the area will have 3400 square feet or house have 3400 square feet area then the price can be 6.6 .6 lakh and how you have uh, predicted or estimate this price by having in your mind these five data points how you have learned these data points by using a line here this process we usually call a learning here you have learned these five points by using the technique of a line and when you have learned these points you can say your model is trained after the training process you can predict the output 
by giving some input okay so this is a simple here you can say this is a technique or, or you can say this is a basic concept how or usually model works or what what actually the training process we usually call now after that this is a very uh, the same line uh, i have randomly here or drawn this is a very simple uh, straight line okay so this uh, you can say that this is a linear model or in other word you can say this is a linear regressor okay now we will see what is linear regression okay from the word uh, if i will uh, give you the simple meaning of the linear from the linear you can say the linear a line okay a linear linearity now what is meant by regression actually the meaning of regression is uh, going or uh, move something to lower state or decline something like that this regression term was first time used by francis galton in 19th century to describe a biological phenomena actually they uh, he has used this term to describe the average height of a uh, some uh, average height of a person okay and in the first uh, galton considered this regression term as a uh, just a biological term but later on it was uh, uh extended to the uh, statistics okay so in statistics what actually mean by the regression usually we call regression as a relationship okay in statistical modeling regression analysis is a set of statistical processes for estimating the relationships between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables we usually call that the regression or uh, in statistics we usually say that we are finding a relation between different variables okay now what what will be the linear regression now from the linear line from the regression the meaning we uh, have learned relationship now we can say by using by uh, from the linear regression we can say we are trying to find out the linear relationship between the variables okay the most common form of regression analysis here is a uh, linear regression in which one finds the line that most closely fits the data according to specific mathematical criteria linear because we are trying to estimate linear relationship between the independent variables and dependent variable so by conceptual way you can say linear regression is for the estimation of linear relation between the variables okay so now we will see this on uh, so till now we have seen that regression is uh, something relationship or relation okay so linear from the linear you can say a linear relation or here we can say a line okay now here from the example that we have seen uh, before that you are seeing here also this one okay so here uh, this is the data set this is a scatter plot of this data set and here we have this red line okay so this red line is actually a linear regressor okay so you can see uh, this is a model okay so that's why here we are saying a linear regression so we are trying to find the linear relation between these variables okay between these variables so here because of line i have told you here y is equal mx plus c it's a equation of line okay so this is the equation of line and by using this equation of line we will try to fit in the these variables here okay by using this line by using equation of line we will use this area 
and price data set to find out this line okay or in other words this line is something uh, if you will say this is a, actually a some equation okay so this is actually uh, something like that okay so here uh, y is equal to mx plus c and uh, this c we usually call as an intercept okay and this m uh, we call as a slope okay and this this x is this area like here you can say independent area and now what is this y y is a target variable or you can say predicted target variable or you can say dependent variable okay so here our target is to or our goal is to uh, see the how much area and price are linearly related to each other okay now here you have uh, some uh, let's say you have drawn this line how you have drawn this line we will see in next couple of videos you have drawn this line let's say you have drawn this line by using these data points now you have called that this is a model and we usually call uh, now here we are trying to estimate linear relation between this area and price if i will zoom here you can see okay so here we are trying to estimate like uh, we have estimated by using a line red line that if the area is growing in this way our price will grow in this way okay in this way here you can see if if the area is growing here in this way our price is growing al along the red line we have estimated that but actually it is not here you can say uh, if your price is if you are uh, you will say that what will be the price of 2600 square feet area by using line you will say by using this line you will say that price is 5 point let's say uh, 3 okay area is uh, this is a price here i can say area is equal to 26 square feet uh, under square feet price is 5.3 according to red line or according to model okay but actually if you will see the data set here you have the price actual price is 5.5 okay that you have in your data okay so actual price is 5.5 now you have seen that we are trying to estimate a linear relation but the points are not actually the linearly related okay so the, actually these variables are ideally these are not perfectly linearly related but we are trying to see what what type of or what sort of they have linear relation with each other okay so from here you can see that there is some difference between the actual value and this model value okay so there is that some difference here if i will uh, use another color here let's say this pink one no. okay so here you can say this is a, a, your actual value this value will be uh, by your model now there is a difference between these now here again you have difference you have some difference again you have some uh, here there is no difference almost okay now we usually call this difference as a error okay error is uh, like here actual 
minus prediction like here your actual is 5.5 minus prediction is 5.3 so here the difference is 0 0.2 so you, you can say this is an error okay so there are five errors according to five points here one two three four five okay in the same way you will say e1 will be uh, this one e2 will be uh, i will write here e1 e2 e3 this will be e4 and this will be e5 okay now if i will say what will be the total error okay what is the total error total error means the difference between so okay so what is the total error here okay so total error uh, why we are trying to see the total error because we want to uh, we want to uh, analyze how much good our model is okay if the error total error is high then we can say our model is not so good if total error is low then we can say our model is good now here total error you can say e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus e4 plus e5 okay now you can see when you will calculate the error in this way actual minus prediction actual minus prediction actual minus prediction you will get some uh, some error will be of positive sign or some error will be of negative sign but we are not interested in the signs we are interested in the the in the difference between the actual and the prediction value okay in the magnitude okay how far they uh, from each other from how far the actual or prediction values from the actuals okay we want to see that we are interested in that we are not interested in the signs in which direction okay so that's why uh, we will square these terms to avoid the sign okay we will square these errors okay now this is e1 e1 and we have square that okay now this e1 i have called as error okay e1 square i have called here we can call it as a squared error okay if i will sum all the errors i can say sum of squared errors i can say here e1 square plus e2 square plus e3 square plus e4 square plus e5 square okay now here I have seen SSE. Okay, so this is now this will measure about the goodness of the model. How good is model? If SSE is high, then we can say our model is not good. If SSE is low, then we can say our model is good. Let's say uh, if you have drawn a line like this, it will have high SSE. Okay, if you will have the model like this then you will have in this way you can calculate now you will have the SSC low as compared to this model okay now if you will find this uh, another line it will have a different SSE let's say this is SSE 1 for the, this line line 1 for the line 2 SSE 2 for the line 3 the ss e3 now you will draw multiple lines okay and you will see the which line will be the best which has a lower the best line or you can say the best model will have lower sse okay or you can say the lower SSE means a lower sum of squared error. Okay, so in this way you have seen that we are interested in the line which has lower error. Okay, now the line which has lower error we usually call it as a best 
fit life okay we usually call this as the best fit life the line which has lower error as compared to all the other errors we can say all the other lines if we will draw we can say this is the best fit line now here you will have a question like uh, how we can uh, we, we will use a brute force method like we will uh, draw multiple lines one by one like here i have drawn line one two three up to many hundreds or thousands or millions of lines i will draw and calculate this error for each line and then i will figure out which line will be the best fit line okay so i will not of course i will not use uh, brute force method it will be uh, like observed method we cannot use that there are some algorithms that we will use uh, to find the best fit line okay some algorithms we will see in the next session so uh, the aim of this session is to give you an idea what exactly the linear regression linear regression is just to, uh, you can say that the actual meaning of or actual concept of linear regression is to find how much the variables are linearly related to each other okay so as i have used here the linear relation uh, we are trying to find out how much they are linearly related to each other that's why here i am use the concept of linear or use the concept of a line so as i have used the concept of line that's why i have used the equation of line for my math mathematics or for my calculations so here i am used the equation of line okay this one so i have used this equation of line to find out the line okay here now i told you that there we can calculate multiple lines and each line will have some difference between uh, its actual value each line will have some uh, difference between it, its uh, its own values and between the actual values or you can say each line will have some error okay so we are interested in the line which has the least error okay so here we have seen a one of uh, the type of error which is sum of squared error so we are interested in the line which has lower or minimum sum of squared error how we can draw, uh, find out the line with minimum sum of squared error we will see in the next session but we are interested in the line which has lower or minimum sum of squared error so this line which has lower sse we usually call as a best fit line now the two major uh, assumptions this linear regression usually have okay the two major uh, assumptions so i want to tell you here linear regression model usually consider uh, as it is using this equation y is equal mx plus c this is x or you can say independent variable this is your target okay or you can say this is a prediction you can write in this way y cap okay this is y this is x or this is y cap which is actually prediction okay so the first assumption is that a linear model or linear regression consider that this x and y are or you can say independent variable and dependent variable are linearly related to each other okay linearly related this is one of the assumption okay so if this assumption is true in that case we can say uh, our sse will be uh, minimum okay if uh, actually our data points like here it seems like this first point is not uh, consistent with the rest of point but here uh, these lines are seems to be on some uh, on uh, some line or you can see these are seems uh, like a linearly is uh, growing here as area is growing price is growing okay so if actually these uh, our data points are growing in this way 
then our assumption will become true okay and our model will the linear model will give us a good reason okay now you will see this equation uh, which is i have drawn here y is equal mx plus c here you have seen that i have drawn only a uh, one independent variable i have drawn this equation for only one independent variable here this is only if there will be multiple independent variables like here the area number of uh, rooms number of washrooms there are multiple independent variable and there is just one uh, dependent variable so we usually call it as a multiple regression in that case we draw equation in this way like y is equal uh, m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus so how many we have here m and xn plus c so c is an intercept and these m1 m2 are slopes okay now here the second assumption here is second assumption is that these independent variables that these are x1 or x2 are independent of each other okay these are also independent of each other it means that the x1 x2 x3 these independent variables should not have relation with each other or in the other words if you are uh, let's say here the area is x1 and let's say your uh, another uh, variable will be here uh, like a number of rooms okay so there is another column you can call it as a x2 so if your x2 is growing as x1 is growing then we can say that uh, x1 and x2 has some sort of relation with each other they are not depend uh, independent okay so here uh, uh, in the linear regression we assume that our independent variables are or you can say our independent variables or our uh, uh, these explanatory variables are actually independent of each other okay so these two assumptions we uh, assume in linear regression okay just a quick revise what is linear regression linear regression is uh, just a, a, a one of the famous uh, model or algorithm of supervised machine learning in which we have uh, we uh, we have a target variable continuous target variable okay we are predicting here some value we are not classifying or we are not predicting some label okay here we are predicting some value so as the word linear regression we are trying to uh, find the linear estimation between the uh, variables okay now as the linear so that's why we are using here the equation of line y is equal to mx plus c if we have just one very one independent variable okay now we uh, uh, we draw such a line okay which uh, which result in a minimum error okay so and we call it as a best fit line how we can draw this line we will see in the next session so for now uh, I hope you have enjoyed this session. So, hopefully, we will meet in the next session. So, for now, thank you.